Welcome. Our goal today is improving the game, making it better, and obviously we want to protect our players from unnecessary risk, and we want to make sure that the helmet is used strictly as protective equipment. The summary of the coaching points that we want to go through is first, the head should always be up. We want to be able to see what we hit. The helmet should never be the initial point of contact. Initial contact must occur with your hands, shoulders, or forearm. After initial contact is made, we should see a rise in the body of the blocker, head elevating and hips coming through. And as a note, when going to the ground to either perform a cut block or to protect yourself, the hand, shoulders, or forearm must still be the initial contact. Let's take a look at a couple of plays that we're looking to get out of the game. The first one here you'll see, a lot of these plays is, is time and space. We have the right guard pulling, and at the, right at the end of it, you can see this is a common trait that we're seeing in, in a lot of these blocks where the head ducks down, the arms come out, and the first initial point of contact is the helmet. We want to get rid of this type of action for our players so this way we can make it a safer game without losing the physical battle that obviously we want to stay within the game. Here's another example again, uh, time and space. With the left guard goes ahead and he starts to pull. He pulls around the corner and you see it again. It's the same common error You're going through a thousand of these clips that you see is you'll see the head drop. You'll see the arms come to the side, okay, not being engaged in the body. And the first point of contact that we're seeing again is the head. And you see the working that linear position, all right, where it's a flat back, the head's down and the eyes and head are not up. Next place similar, the left guard, you see it, time and space pulling into a hole, okay, and you see there, it's the same situation that we've seen. Again, the head is down, the back is flat in that linear position, all right, and again, this is the contact that we don't want with the helmet initiating the contact first. We look here at the left guard again, he's running, this is a longer pull, same situation, okay, you can see the head coming down, all right, you see the hands coming to the side, and again, the initial point of contact is the helmet. And that's what we're looking to try to get out of this game. You'll see here, this is some of the shorter traps uh, that are in the game. Again, you know, uh, time and space, it's a quick play. It's a quick trap on the inside. But again, we see the same thing. We see the helmet down. All right, the head is clearly down there. All right, you can see the back. It's almost in that linear position right there. Obviously, the hands are coming late into this block. But again, the first thing is the helmet's down and the hands aren't coming up. All right, on this block. This is what we're trying to get away from. This is what we're trying to, to make our game a safer game for our players, all right, without losing again, you know, the aggressive style of what we want to play. Here's more of an inline play. Again, there's not a lot of inline um, helmet to helmet shots, but you can see right here, it's just a poor, poor technique coming off, all right, head down, arms to the side, and you can see the shot right there in the helmet with the head down. We want to be able to keep our head up as we're working through the blocks. And to end up with this last play, what we want to show again on the perimeter, again, there's time and space in this block. Here we look at the right tackle, all right, pulling out on a toss play, coming down, and obviously going low, all right, to either protect himself, all right, from the defensive back coming up and trying to take his legs underneath him or holding the point. And what you see again is you see the head lead, okay, and that's what we're trying to get out of this game. You know, we're trying to make sure that his hands are in front or his forearms in front, and we don't want to leave with that head, and you can see the end result in that. Now, here's a start, starting a couple of good things of what a lot of us teach and what we want taught, and what we're looking for are these, these time and space blocks. This is a long pull again coming into uh, the hole right here. It's a good block. We want a same foot, same shoulder, working a, a crowd of technique, uh, which some of us obviously teach, all right, working on, and then a helmet rising up, the body of the blocker rising up through the hole and the hips coming through is a good finish right here of this block. That's what we're looking for uh, from the shoulder. Again, you'll see here with the left guard, you'll, you'll see a long pull. He'll come around, and again, you'll see him that right there. All right, work the hands in the block, work the head and shoulders and body, working upright, working the hips through, all right, working on a good finish and a good physical block. You'll see here, this is the right guard, same type of situation, pulling around, works in, hands are inside, hands are in front of the body, okay? You can see right here, he pops it through, works his head, work the body up, work his hips through the block, and it's a good finish, and it's a good physical block, and a good finish on the block by the guard. 
Now we'll work some of the shorter traps, which is a little bit more difficult here. But again, you can see, all right, coming around the horn tight, you can see shoulder hits first, left forearms in there first, body's working on the rise, hat's coming out of it, and obviously the hips are coming through. And a good finish there, good physical football play. Here's a right tackle, okay, same situation with a longer pull. Again, working here, hands are in front of him. We want initial contact with the hands. We'd like the hands to be inside the body, okay, as they work through, and you can see the rise of the hat and the rise of the hips coming through the block, and again, working on the finish. All right, for the last play of things that we're looking for as far as what we want to get taught, again, it comes down to time and space, and obviously we have blockers coming down the field here. A lot of times we'll see the blockers, again, they'll drop their head and throw, but this is what we're looking for. We're looking for the hands to be in front of them. You look at number 79, his hands are in front of him, working the block. You look at number 62 here coming down. Obviously, there's a lot of space. He's trying to eat it up, but you see the hands come out there first and necessarily not the head going down. This is what we're looking for on the perimeter when our offensive linemen come out on the perimeter and block.